Josep Guardiola Sala, Lifestyle and Net Worth Josep Guardiola Sala, born on January 18, 1971, commonly known as Pep Guardiola, is a Catalan professional football manager and former player from Spain, who is currently the manager of Premier League club, Manchester City. Guardiola is the only manager to win the Continental Treble twice, the youngest manager to win the UEFA Champions League, and he holds the record for the most consecutive league games won in La Liga, the Bundesliga, and the Premier League. He is considered to be one of the greatest managers of all time. Guardiola was a defensive midfielder who usually played in a deep-lying playmaker's role. He spent the majority of his career with Barcelona, forming a part of Johan Cruyff's dream team that won the club's first European Cup in 1992 and four successive Spanish league titles from 1991 to 1994. He captained the team from 1997 until his departure from Barcelona in 2001. Guardiola then had stints with Brescia and Roma in Italy, Alali in Qatar and Dorados in Mexico. He was capped 47 times for the Spanish national team and appeared at the 1994 FIFA World Cup, as well as at UEFA Euro 2000. He also played friendly matches for Catalonia. Pep Guardiola has a net worth of approximately $120 million. He is 5 feet 11 inches tall, which is equivalent to 1.8 meters tall. That being said, let's roll. Pep Guardiola Personal Life Guardiola was born to Dolores Sala and Valeni Guardiola. He has two older sisters and a younger brother, Per Guardiola, a football agent. He is an atheist. Guardiola met his wife, Cristina Sara, when he was 18. They married on May 29, 2014. They have three children named Maria Guardiola, Marius Guardiola, and Valentina Guardiola. Following his tenure as Barcelona's manager, he stated that he would move to the United States to live in Manhattan, New York, for a year, until he had decided on his future. To prepare for his position as the manager of Bayern Munich, Guardiola studied German for four to five hours each day. Guardiola supports the political independence of Catalonia. In 2015, he confirmed that he would participate in the pro-independence coalition, Junts Pel C, in that year's regional parliamentary election. On May 24, 2023, Guardiola made a cameo appearance in Ted Lasso, in which Ted Lasso's team, AFC Richmond, play against Manchester City and win. Guardiola gives Lasso a handshake following City's defeat and gives Lasso a word of advice, to which Lasso responds positively. Guardiola reportedly is a fan of the show and enjoys watching it with his wife and daughter. Guardiola was one of the 13 sports personalities named in the Pandora Papers published by the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists. ICIJ. He had an account open in the Principality of Andorra until 2012, exploiting the tax amnesty that Mariano Rajoy's conservative government had enacted in Spain to regularize his fiscal situation. Until that point, he had not declared the funds held in that account to the Spanish tax agency. Pep Guardiola Managerial Tactics Although much emphasis is placed on retaining possession of the ball and dictating play, with the intent to have the opposing side's defense chase the ball for extended periods of play, Guardiola's teams are recognized for pressing off the ball. Players press and harry the opposition collectively in an attempt to win back possession of the ball. This collective press is only conducted in the starting third of the opposition's pitch where less space exists and defenders and the goalkeeper may not be as good at dribbling or passing the ball as a midfielder. As high pressing became prominent, Guardiola sought to counteract it with goalkeepers and defenders comfortable with controlling the ball and both long and short ball distribution, with goalkeepers such as Victor Valdez and Manuel Neuer. Also acting as sweeper keepers at Barcelona and Bayern Munich, rushing off their line to prevent counterattacks and playing out from the back. At Manchester City, Ederson routinely played accurate long balls upfield when City were pressed high, at times taking the entire opposition out of play and creating one-on-one -on -one situations for City forwards. To avoid getting caught by long-range passing from City's defensive third, the opposition defense would cautiously drop deep despite the forward line's high press, hence creating space in the middle of the pitch. Thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe to our channel for such amazing content. Bless up,